Years ago, a producer and director, John Fox, came to me and said that a case that I'd handled, he thought should be made into a movie. John thought a struggling inventor was a worthy subject for an important documentary. Consider this sample. It's one of the most important things I've ever done in my life to help this man bring forth the technology. John and I have answered questions about the flick. Do you like this? I don't think you said it in the film, but you said it on stage and other clips of, uh, um, you know, the patent office is not set up to really find innovation. Um, as much as Thomas Jefferson created the patent office to do that, uh, uh, that's not its real uh, um, core competency today. You know, it's protecting ideas that are somewhat obvious um, that haven't been uh, patented before. Also, One person asked how I got involved in the case. Doing sort of a long time an Irishman who says this is a private fighter, can anybody get in? Mm -hmm. And uh, I also have uh, another Celtic uh, trait, I think, which is that uh, a naked Irishman swimming to an alien shore will say, who's the government, I'm going to get him. <laughs> and I'm a little more complicated than that because I'm as a federal law clerk, law clerk and I'm a recovering federal prosecutor from New York in lots of mob and drug cases and stuff like that. And so, uh, and I come from the South Bronx, so I have this notion that justice is a coincidence of the system, not a consequence of it. <laughs> and so, you have to fight to make it a coincidence in the individual case that you're handling. You have to use all the pressure points. And if whomever it is who's denying you justice thinks they can hide behind an institution, you have to take them out of that, attack them personally, and show their bias, show their prejudice, show their incompetence, and, and let everybody see it. We hope you'll get a chance to see this in a movie house near you real soon.